So I'm doing some more controversial stuff. There's a, a brass screw that's broken off in here. It should look like that. And uh, we've just been kind of slowly drilling it with the smallest bit that I can fit in the end of my drill. And um, I just been kind of wiping it really carefully. I'm going to come in here with a vacuum. It's brass, so it's very soft. And it doesn't take much. You just gotta make sure you don't go through really fast. There's a board down below there. And now, please. I think, uh, we probably get it out of there with something else now. Um,. Yeah, the whole thing just came through, so. Okay. Um, it looks like the threads might be damaged. But so now we've got to get the other piece out that's down in there. Um, I wanted to do this upside down, but I couldn't figure out an easy way to do it. So, but it's it's out. It's just down in here, and it didn't like fall very far. So I just have to get it out. Um. Should probably be. I'd probably be able to flip the radio and do all that. Okay, so we got it. So that's that's what's left. So basically, if you drill one of these really, really careful, the breaks off, and your bit is the right size, the threads will collapse on themselves, and the bit will start to spin the remaining piece it'll come out either go out the back or out the front whatever the hell the case may be um the reverse thread bit is the best that you can get if you can find one of those otherwise it's going to keep tightening it in but you can see we got it out of there so we're good um I don't know why I kind of used brass screws, but they did. I guess they must have made them in-house, probably. Um, they damage really easily, and they look like crap when they've been damaged. And uh, I've never had any break off or anything like that. I'm not sure what happened there. I, I had another radio, an ICOM 756 Pro 2, that had got damaged in shipping or something I think maybe and um, it had a severed off uh, steel one that was a little bit more trouble um, but still same procedure so it's a little risky but you know uh, you know as long as you're really careful and you know you have the experience of doing this kind of stuff I wouldn't do this if you've never done it you can get them out so there we go so People will say, oh my god, I can't believe you did that. Oh, you know, so now I, I'm going to go take the radio and hit it with compressed air. But the thing was, all the shavings were happening at the top here. I was wiping it as I go along. I didn't let them sit there and collect. But um, there is a remote possibility of having, you know, brass shavings get into the radio if you're not paying attention and, you know, you can turn it on and go poof. So, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, controversial, I guess, and, and a big deal to me. Um, 
So, you know, you just have to know what you're doing. Proceed at your own risk.